hey y'all this is vanity so i'm coming to you with part two of my um birthday haul this part is going to be makeup so um yeah let's get right into the video the first things i have are some queen bee coco lashes and i just re-upped so i only have five pair um i'm currently wearing one pair and then here's the other four i absolutely love these these are my favorite um lashes of all time um, the next thing I got was from Kylie Cosmetics. So I got the um, liquid lipstick and lip liner in um, Love Bite. I have been wanting this one more than anything for the past like since it came out and I just couldn't see myself purchasing it. I just didn't want to spend that money girl. I just really did not because it's expensive. Um, but yeah, I wound up purchasing this because again, it was my birthday and I had to like, you know, splurge on myself. And then I also got the, just the liquid lipstick because I don't really wear, um, pencils. I actually have been waiting for this to come out single the way all her other liquid lipsticks have, but it hasn't yet. So yeah, I got the kit. And for this this liquid lipstick, I got True Brown K, and I think I want Dolce K, and then I'll probably be done because pretty much all the colors she has are really dupable. So I feel like you can find something similar. Um, if y'all want me to do a video on how I feel about these, definitely let me know. I'll do a whole lip swatch video as well as tell you my personal um, opinion about these because I do have an opinion. Next up, I have um, this Buxom um, Full On Lip Polish in Dolly. This is my second favorite color that um, I got from Buxom. My first one is White Russian. So I love, I love this. It has like a, um, a mauve tone and it has some tiny little specks of glitter in it, like a golden glitter. It's very, very pretty though. Like I freaking love this lip gloss. This is my second one or third one, but yeah, this is kind of becoming my favorite. The thing I brought myself was a beauty blender. Um, I got the black one. Um, and then I have this like makeup forever start lit, star lit powder Jackie I ja Jackie Ina actually posted this color on her um, on her snapchat and I immediately went out and purchased it um, this is in the color 19 and it is a bomb ass um, royal blue color and when you apply these they look suede how they just look suede they have like this beautiful just effect to them super pigmented like it's not even funny how pigmented this is and i haven't worn it yet i'm kind of like waiting for the perfect time but is there a perfect time i'm just gonna throw it on one day and see what you know look i could come up with but i think this is beautiful just gorgeous it makes me want more colors next thing i got is this like little birthday package from it's um like a tart um you know they have three different options that you could get for your birthday so i went with the makeup option and it's a tart um high performance naturals and then it gives you two things they give you a blush as well as a lippy so you have the amazonian clay 12 hour blush in parte and then you have um the tartise creamy matte lip paint in birthday suit so this is birthday suit and this is the party blush and i think both are really really pretty the next thing i have is this stila magnificent metals glitter and glow liquid eyeshadow and girl this is amazing and it's so pigmented oh my gosh it is so freaking pretty. Um, this is what it looks like. The packaging is gorgeous. It has like, it's just clear and gold. This is so beautiful. And um, the color is Smoky Storm. And it is so freaking pretty. These are so pigmented. And I have worn it um, in one of my videos and I think it looked so beautiful on the eye. I got the Smashbox Cover Shot um, Eye Palette in a Blaze. Okay, and this palette basically has those oranges and um, neutral tones. 
So that's what this palette looks like. Super pigmented. So far, I am definitely enjoying it. Do I use every color in this one? No, not as right now. I've been gravitating towards the same look over and over with this palette because the look is just a bomb. But um, yeah, and it's an easy go-to everyday look. This palette is great. I would definitely recommend it. Um, it came highly recommended and I do see the hype. I really, really like this. I also got this Sephora Pearl Face Mask, and this one is for perfecting and brightening, okay? And I've never used the Sephora mask, so this will be the first one. The next mask that I got was the Rose Face Mask, um, and this is supposed to be for ultra moisturizing and brightening. And then I got the Matching Eye Mask. Um, so this is the rose eye mask and this one is also for ultra moisturizing and brightening so yeah and last but not least are makeup brushes from real technique okay so this one is um, all three of these are from the bold metals collection this is the 203 tapered shadow brush and I'm going to take it out so you can see up close but um yeah I'm going to be using this to um I guess blend when I'm doing like a um like a if I want to do like a smoke effect out on the outer crease part this is gonna be the brush that I use for that and it looks really really good I love the silver hardware it looks very high end um, the next thing I have is the bold metals collection 202 and this is the angled liner i definitely need another angled liner this one it says it's for um it's perfect for your brows i honestly got this because i wanted to try to use this to do winged liner so um yeah i don't know which one i'm going to use it for but i'm gonna try for both the next one I got is the Bold Metals Collection 200, and this is the Oval Shadow Brush, okay? And this is good for when you're just packing um, product on your lids and you want a lot. Um, it says, Quick One Sweet Color. So it's really, really big. I can't wait to try that one out. Also got the um, Real Techniques Limited Edition Prep and Prime Set, and it has five tools for a flawless com um, complexion so it comes with a um, a prep a beauty spatula and it's so that you can like remove moisturizers and creams from like jars and stuff instead of using your fingers especially if you have nails it'll make it easier um, the next thing is the um, under eye reviver so it's this and it has this, like little silver um, metal ball at the tip and that's supposed to be um, cooling for when you're massaging like eye creams under your eyes and then you have um, the next brush this is the prep brush and this is if you're like trying to apply like moisturizers or um, like a, a mask on your face you will use the brush instead of using your fingers the next thing we already know this is the miracle complexion sponge which is their version of the beauty blender and I have four of these they work well I don't think they compare to the beauty blender in my opinion but they do work well and they are more affordable and then the last thing they have is the storage um, stand and this is for the sponge so you put the sponge on top of here instead of just you know placing it anywhere you have like a little stand for your sponge which is very very smart um, so yeah, I cannot wait to dig my hands into this. This is amazing Like no one has ever thought of it or if they have I have never heard of a set like this I think this was super duper innovative and smart for people who are into skincare Especially if it, you're wearing makeup and you have nails. This is perfect that is all for this part of the video um this part of the haul so definitely stay tuned to part three and if you haven't seen part one of my um handbags and accessories definitely go check that out part three will be um a whole bunch of different scents that i bought from bath and body works to actual perfumes and just stuff that i got so definitely look forward to that video so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed and i will speak to my next video bye y'all